Welcome back our dear viewers. Uh, as we have uh, said at the beginning of our program today that we are going to talk about the visit by His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Sisi to Germany where he participated in the Munich Security Conference. Of course he addressed the conference uh, during his speech. He tackled many important issues of uh, great concern to Egypt and to Africa and on the sidelines of that meeting he met with a number of CEOs of uh, giant uh, German companies. Uh, that would be our topic for discussion in uh, today's edition of the Breakfast Show with our dear guest, uh, Mr. Uh, Haani Abu Fatouh, he's an economic expert. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Haani. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Haani. Now, uh, President Sisi um, held uh, several meetings, as we mentioned, uh, notably with the CEOs of leading German and international companies. Now, how important is this for Egypt? Uh, thank you very much indeed for inviting me here today. Uh, the meetings held by uh, President Sisi with the CEOs of leading international, leading German companies uh, is actually a natural step for uh, promoting uh, the uh, investment uh, opportunities in Egypt. Uh, as we all know that uh, uh, Germany uh, has economically uh, supported Egypt since 1963 uh, with uh, uh, loans and grants, uh, and uh, the, the amount of loans and grants since then amounted to uh, approximately 5.6 billion euros. Mm. Uh, so uh, Germany is a very uh, strong economic partner to Egypt. Egypt has uh, done a lot of efforts to uh, improve the economic and investment infrastructure in Egypt, in, and it is now very appealing to foreign investors. So the meetings with the uh, CEOs of uh, the leading German companies actually is expected to invite them to come again to Egypt and invest in, uh, investment, uh, invest in Egypt. Mm -hmm. And I recall that the Mercedes-Benz is one of the leading companies which has decided to come back to Egypt and resume its investments. Yes, indeed. So on a larger uh, scale, of course, Egypt is heading the African Union um, and uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi in his speech was talking about the importance of uh, economic integration in Africa and the sustainable development. Uh, how do you see that and uh, how that could be reached within uh, the coming year? Uh, the sustainable development is a theme, is a global theme. Uh, and every country uh, in, 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 in the continent and in the world has its own strategies and plans to uh, maintain the uh, develop the sustainable developments. Uh, so uh, this theme actually is a common theme in every meeting that the President Sisi uh, 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 hold with uh, uh, international and uh, international uh, events. And uh, I see that uh, the coming year, the coming years, actually are uh, uh, promising for. The, uh, for achieving the sustainable development goals, the 17 goals of the sustainable developments, and uh, uh, Egypt and other countries uh, in, in Africa as well will, uh, will take part in all events and uh, explore more about the progress in achieving the sustainable development goals. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, sir, since we're talking about uh, Egypt's leading role in Africa and chairing the African Union, how can uh, Egypt play a more significant role when it comes to European investments in Africa? Now, Egypt is a gateway, of course, to Africa, and Egypt is boosting relations with Europe and with Africa at the same time. So when it comes to infrastructure um, in Africa, how can Egypt play a role in, in that? Let me tell you something that uh, Africa actually lacks the, uh, uh, the investment in huge infrastructure projects which provide access to energy, transport, and other, uh, and other industries. Uh, Egypt, uh, 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 Egypt actually, is, uh, has, since it has taken the presidency of the African Union uh, recently, uh, it can uh, liaise between Europe and uh, African members of the uh, country, members of 50, 55 countries in, in the African Union, in seeking the opportunities for financing the infrastructure projects, because without a proper and solid infrastructure in, in the continent, 
no progress would be achieved, the sustainable development will be largely hindered. Mm. So utilizing the cooperation and the relations which Egypt maintains with the, with the European countries, Egypt is actually, as I told you previously, it's a, the gateway to Africa and Africa's doorway to Europe. Yes, yes. Uh, sir, uh, of course, uh, the Munich Security Conference was tackling the security of the, uh, uh, the, the whole uh, continents um, in the world and of course Egypt uh, is um, suffering to a great extent from the repercussions of terrorism and did great uh, in fighting that uh, uh, phenomenon of terrorism. So how can we exchange expertise regarding that issue? As rightfully said, Egypt uh, actually has been involved in fighting terrorism in the, in, in the region uh, since uh, the since June uh, 30th and the yeah. since the yes. evolution of the, uh, the revolution in, 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 in Egypt mm -hmm. and uh, we paid uh, a huge price in, in that mm -hmm. we have in Egypt developed expertise in fighting Indeed. terrorism and uh, actually uh, I hail the word which President Sisi uh, presented in the in the uh, event uh, when mm -hmm. he highlighted that uh, Egypt paid the price. Egypt uh, uh, fighted terrorism and has now experience which could be uh, extended to other uh, countries uh, uh, to fight uh, terrorism and make the world uh, involved in, uh, in joint hands and, and, jo and joint hands in fighting. Uh, terrorism and tackle other security uh, security uh, issues like for example uh, there are other important issues like irregular immigrations which uh, President Sisi also highlighted in, in, in such in that event so Egypt has uh, valuable experience and uh, actually uh, it, uh, it 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 uh, it helps in extending this experience to other countries we need it. Yes. Mm. Uh, Sir, so how can Egypt uh, further boost uh, trade and economic ties with Europe, particularly with Germany? How can it attract more uh, German investments in Egypt? Uh, the current investment status in Egypt, or the, uh, the level stands at 60 er, $640 million. There are, at this stage, 1,103 German companies operating in Egypt and they employ uh, thousands of Egyptian uh, people. Uh, I see that uh, the, uh, the new investment law, the legislative uh, reform in Egypt, uh, other reforms and uh, the, uh, the results of the uh, economic uh, reform program is a good uh, example for the, the, the uh, uh, that Egypt could uh, portray to the West and to particularly to the investors in, in Europe and other countries uh, we invite uh, we invite investors to uh, road shows and to explain to them and show them the opportunities and potentiality of achieving good results when investing in Egypt. Uh, Mr. Haney, how can we uh, benefit from the um, German experience in the field of renewable energy? Uh, this year I would say that it is the year of renewable energy. Egypt uh, owns a uh, huge number and enormous resources of uh, renewable, uh, renewable energy such as wind and solar energy. And uh, by year 2020, Egypt will Egypt has planned that 20% of its power supply would be driven from the uh, renewable energy and that uh, will definitely uh, decrease the d dependency on fuels. Uh, that, uh, also, we will know that uh, Germany has uh, modern technology and uh, uh, the uh, renewable energy industry and uh, that's why uh, the, uh, Egypt has taken part in the Egyptian-German uh, Renewable Energy uh, Joint Committee 
which sets the strategies and policies for renewable energy for the coming years. About um, another aspect of economic ties between Egypt and uh, Germany, and that is tourism. Now, uh, uh, so many uh, German tourists come to Egypt. Actually, many live in certain uh, areas uh, here in Egypt, such as uh, Hergada, Sharm el-Sheikh, and Guna, and so on. So, how can Egypt even uh, attract more German uh, tourists, and how could this be a step towards attracting further European tourists to Egypt? Let me tell you a good news. Uh, Egyptian tour, uh, German tourists rank number one in Egypt, followed by uh, the British uh, tourists and Ukrainian tourists. And for the first time, Germany has operated direct flights from Germany to Luxor. Uh, the number of tourists, uh, the, the German tourists uh, coming to Egypt during year uh, 2018 uh, is estimated at uh, one Re ne nearly 1,200,000, so it's a huge number. Uh, we know, most of us know that uh, Egypt, uh, that Germany hosts re nearly 35 tourist exhibitions uh, every year. So the only way to, at yeah, definitely, the, the, the only way to increase the number of tourists, particularly from Germany, is for the competent authorities in tourism in Egypt and the private sector uh, tourist company to attend the relevant exhibitions in, in, in Germany. 35 exhibitions, I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine no, that uh, they will all be attended, but I mean the relevant exhibitions must be attended and, and present Egypt as uh, a convenient uh, touristic area, and uh, that's the only way to attract uh, Egypt, uh, to attract more German tourists, and definitely uh, if we have a successful uh, a success story in attracting the, the German tourists, other tourists from different parts of the world will be invited and would be uh, pleased to come to Egypt. Sir, uh, next Sunday and Monday, Egypt will host uh, in the Red Sea Resort of Sharm el Sheikh the Arab uh, European uh, Summit. Um, of course, uh, how that summit could uh, help in boosting cooperation between uh, the European and Arab blocs concerning economy and to face the challenges facing both uh, blocs as well? Uh, this venue actually is a convenient venue for portraying the reforms in Egypt and as I said previously, Egypt is the gateway of Africa and the Middle East. So all investment opportunities between the East and West in one way or another must pass through Egypt. Okay, so uh, it is a convenient and suitable place for uh, building a dialogue between uh, Europe, uh, between the European countries and the m countries in the Middle East and uh, showcase the success stories not only in Egypt but also in other Arab states which would be an incentive for investors to come and invest uh, in, in, in the Middle East. Um, Mr. Henry, Germany is Europe's largest economy. It's a, a very strong uh, uh, economic powerhouse and it is even affecting uh, the whole continent, the whole European continent. The Germans are known for being very efficient when it comes to industry, investment and business. How can Egypt benefit from uh, the Germans' expertise in, in this regard and try to um, uh, uh, reform when it comes to uh, industrial and economic reform here in Egypt? Um, Egy uh, Egypt and Germany uh, have long, uh, lo uh, have uh, very long relationship economically and uh, they uh, since 1963 have exchanged many, uh, many, op uh, many opportunities. Uh, I see that uh, Germany, as you said, rightfully said, uh, it is a leading, has a leadership in several industries, in transport industry, in aerospace, in military, and uh, other industries. So uh, uh, we, it, we utilize actually the business 
arena in, in Egypt utilized actually this expertise since uh, 1963. So it is not, I'm not surprised that uh, investors and business, uh, business people from both countries uh, examine the opportunities uh, and potentiality for creating a new business, establishing new business. Particularly Egypt has done a lot in reforming its economy and uh, uh, also has done a good step in reforming the legal, and in, uh, the legal infrastructure which would make investment more convenient. Sir, also during uh, his speech before the Munich uh, uh, Security Conference, His Excellency President Sisi said that Aswan will host um, a security conference uh, of, uh, as well. So um, uh, how that could be beneficial for uh, Egypt and for Africa and for Europe in order to uh, continue to coordinate our efforts in order to uh, reach um, a real fight against uh, terrorism and to create uh, st stability in order to boost the uh, economy, uh, particularly in the African uh, countries. In plain words, without security and stability, there will be no investment, either in Egypt or elsewhere. And uh, as I mentioned before, Egypt has developed its own anti-terrorism uh, strategy, and uh, it implemented this strategy uh, uh, since uh, the evolution, since the revolution, and uh, we have actually the uh, right expertise and topics and showcase that uh, Egypt could showcase in, in that event in Aswan. So it is a gathering, it's a venue for exchanging expertise and Egypt of course has a lot to exchange and to showcase in this event. Mr. Haney, Abul Futuh, economic expert, thank you very much for being with us today in this edition of The Breakfast Pleasure. Show. Thank you.